When KU was getting ready to start the season, you couldn't help but notice how young this team is. That young team has earned a one seed in the NCAA tournament. 27 new sports anchor Lanny Gerber is with the Jayhawks in Des Moines. Lanny, what are the expectations for this young squad? Well, we've heard the expression a lot recently. Faces change, expectations don't. It's been thrown around a lot in the wake of Bill Self's hospitalization, but year after year, it rings true for KU. The Jayhawks lost about 70% of their production after last year's national championship. The handful of returning players really had to step up, and the freshmen had to grow up fast, even faster now that it's all win or go home. We already told them all, y'all not freshmen no more. Everybody's done played, played enough games, played enough minutes, um, and especially Grady. Um, he's played the majority of the minutes for the freshmen, and um, he done hit big shots for us. And the main thing I think that about Grady is like I don't think he cares about what other people think about him. Um, he's just going to be himself, and he's just even killing. He's just going to go out there and hoop. So that, that's a big blessing. I have been in um, some you know kind of big you know stadium type things, but obviously this is a lot more you know special. I feel like to me because it's I'm a new journey for me going into you know my college season and. Um, I've always wanted to play in March Madness, so you know to be actually here and um, be in those shoes that I've watched you know, so many years, you know, ahead of is just super special. Remember, both of KU's bench bigs, Zubi Ejiofor and Ernest Uday, are freshmen as well. Now, the guy ahead of them is, of course, the Big 12's most improved player, KJ Adams, who barely played in last year's NCAA tournament, but quickly grew into one of the team's vets. So, young vets is an oxymoron you can use to describe this group this year. Working for you live in Des Moines, Laney Gerber, 27 Sports.